everybody, thanks for joining me. And in this video, we're continuing our Essential Guide to Google Calendar series with a discussion of primary and secondary calendars on Google Calendar. Now, last time we talked about how to create a basic event, and in doing so, we talked about how every Google account has associated with your login one primary calendar under your name. Here's mine. It says uh, Sean Beard, and it's in blue. But if I wanted to add a secondary calendar, I can have as many calendars as I want. And all I have to do is go to My Calendars and click the drop-down menu and click Create New Calendar. Now, as an example, I'm going to create a calendar called Chromebook Reservation because I have a Chromebook cart and from time to time some of our teachers like to reserve Chromebook carts and use them in their classroom. So I'm going to create that calendar, but in doing so I can also add a description and I can give a location if I want to. But what's really important are a couple of things down here and that is the calendar's settings as far as time zone and sharing. Now for the time zone you want to make sure that you're set to the correct time zone and then under share this calendar with others I have the ability of checking that box and by doing so it automatically shares the calendar with everyone in my organization. If I don't want them to see it I can uncheck that box and leave it as a private calendar but since I'm checking it I want to determine what people in my organization can do with this calendar. Currently by default it's set to see all event details meaning that if someone is able to see this calendar they can see the event and its details but they cannot edit. Now there are going to be times when I can't be in the building and I may need someone else in my organization to add events to this calendar. So what I can also do is share this calendar with specific people. So I'm going to put an alternate email address in here that we can use and allow this person to make changes and sharing responsibilities. I make sure that that item is set to make changes and manage sharing. Click add person and now I have another teacher user that can make changes to my calendar. Once I have all those settings the way I want them, at either the top or bottom I can click create calendar. So in just a second here, my calendars will populate with this extra calendar. Here it is, Chromebook Reservation. You'll notice that it assigned a color to it. I can actually change that color to anything I want by clicking the drop down menu and changing the color item. And you'll notice that we're looking at several different calendars here. What is difficult sometimes for people to understand is that when each of these calendars is highlighted, we're looking at multiple calendars in sort of a transparent overlay. In other words, I can see events for all four of these calendars at once, and each item in its respective calendar is shown by the color. What this means is you can share calendars out to different websites or on social media, but you don't have to actually go out to those sites or places to enter items on the calendar. Google Calendar acts as your dashboard for all of the calendars that you have in view in this menu over here under My Calendars. So when you add an event and you click on the calendar, all you have to do to assign an event to a different calendar is click on the drop down menu for calendar and choose. So if I choose Chromebook Reservation, it changes the color of that event to match the calendar. And I can add an event. and edit it and treat it just like I would any other item. I can add a guest and then save the item and it will go on my Google Calendar. So this is a great way that you can manage multiple calendars at once. You don't have to worry about having a written calendar somewhere and then having another desktop calendar and then having a calendar online. You can have all of your calendars in one place, manage them from one place, but then share them to different websites. So to walk you through that process one more time, I'm going to show you how to add one more calendar. So we go to My Calendars, hit the drop down menu, and click Create New Calendar. I'll call this one Tablet Reservation. 
and I'll make sure that I share this with others. I can make it so that they can see the event details. If I wanted to make this public for parents, for instance, I would check that box as well and change the detail level if I want to. Add any email addresses for teachers that I need to manage this calendar. And then add them. And from here, just click Create Calendar. And then again, it adds that calendar under your My Calendars list. I'm going to go ahead and add one more event for this calendar. Notice that it's set up as yellow. I'm going to change that color to red so it's a little bit more obvious to see. And I'll put an event on here for a reservation and create the event. Okay. And so now you see I've got items on here for my personal calendar, the Chromebook reservation calendar, and the tablet reservation calendar. At any time, if I have too many events and too many different colors to look at, all I have to do to turn off one of these calendars is go over here and click on it to toggle it off. And you'll notice when I move my mouse away from the menu, it's no longer highlighted. And the items or events for that calendar are also gone from view. To get them back, I just click to toggle that calendar on, and it comes back. Now, beyond your calendars, you can also add a coworker's calendar. For instance, if they've made a calendar in your organization available to anybody in the organization, then all you have to do to add their calendar to your view is type in their email address and it will send a request to that person asking for permission to add their calendar to yours. You can also click on the other calendars drop down menu and click Browse Interesting Calendars. So if you'd like to add a holiday calendar to your Google Calendar or a calendar for your favorite sport team or one of these interesting calendars here, then all you have to do is click on the subscribe button out to the right. So let's say for instance for football, I go to the NCAA football list and I can add any of these football teams. So for instance, if I wanted to add the Oklahoma State calendar to mine, all I'd have to do is go out to the right, click subscribe, and then back at the top, I click back to calendar, and the OSU calendar, which needs to be orange, we'll change that, uh, will show up on my Google calendar. So if I went back to their dates for games, here they are, they show up on my calendar now. So. Well, that's just a quick run through on secondary calendars and sharing. If you have questions, please feel free to go to my website and post a question for the Techie Coach or just let me know. Thanks for joining me.